All right, I'm going to try a point with small side notches on this Kanawa black. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> This is a preform I made the other day. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But I have a pretty good idea now. But I got to take down the sides quite a bit. Which is okay because I'll need some platforms to thin down the edges for these notches. So I'm not saying much because I need to be very careful with this. I have a feeling that if I try to take a shortcut or be too aggressive, it's going to crack. or do something. I'm looking back over my shoulder to check the size on this. Okay.
that strike hit my finger, but no problems. Yeah, definitely can't get a flake off of a delicate edge. Like that was trying there. It definitely has to be a robust edge to get any kind of flake to travel. And the surface has got to be concave all the way. Concave, convex all the way. Can't be any dips in the surface in the flake path. There's got to be a, a whole lot of force. For any kind of flake travel. So completely convex. Lots of force. Very robust platform. No loss of energy. Basically, the formula for no loss of energy. The platform, when it crushes, loses lots of energy. So if it's robust and doesn't crush, all the energy passes into the flake path, in theory. That one didn't carry, but it's not in a critical area, so it's not too bad. Yeah, these strikes are more downward than inward. Inward strikes do not do anything except cause problems. So 
So yeah, for, uh, hitting predominantly downward. To peel off these flakes, very similar to a, a quartzite. Okay, I think that's thin enough. Yeah, if I do any more, I'll mess up the profile. <coughs> okay. I went on, I gathered some wood today. I found some pecan wood at the at the uh, tree dump where everyone dump, dumps all their trees from the spring cleaning you know I found an entire pecan tree I can't fit the entire pecan tree in my van but I got a plenty I got at least three or four hundred pounds of wood well maybe three hundred pounds for the barbecue still green so I need to dry it out but it doesn't take long to dry it out here three weeks tops I got plenty of wood for three weeks uh, before that dries and it's gonna be good Pecan is my favorite barbecue wood for those just tuning in. Dicey trying to do notches on this stuff. I cheated a little on this one because I had a thin flake to begin with. And I started with a preform for the video. So I'm already pretty far ahead for this amount of time. But I like it. I don't have it. I don't like having to do the the preform stage if I don't have to. On video, anyway. Yeah, I gotta constrict them, constrict the bottom a little bit more. Okay, that might give me a, a chance to thin down the the area where the notches are gonna be. Because I'll be able to thicken up that edge for a platform. Theoretically, it should work. Yeah, almost in danger of taking too much off there. I'm 
I'm going to thin it down with some pressure. Except for this here, I'm going to try for a, a long flake into this area. Try to flatten that bump a little bit. Take that, you fiend. Oh, it did come off. Okay. All right, then. These flakes are funny, you know, you hit it and it feels like it came off, but then you look at it and it doesn't feel like it. I mean, it's still stuck on there and then it pops off. All right, that's it. I'm going to, I think I have enough thinness now for the notching. It's regrettable that there's a little step there, but oh well, let's see. I might be able to lessen it, lessen the look of it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little too narrow now, but oh well. Okay. Well, 
When am I going to get to the notches? Any minute now. Okay. Any second now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm a little bit, still a little bit off on the ears. They're not that pointy. Watching is always done on a hard pad. I can already tell it's going to be tricky. Nice. I put a lot of pressure there. A little more aggressive on this side, but uh, still gonna make sure I'm not too aggressive. How do they do this with abo tools? Well, the, the point itself has got to be really thin. I think it can be done reasonably, reasonably well as long as it's thin enough. Now, I, it doesn't have to be all that thin with that steel tool. These don't have serrated edges at all, so that I can see. So I'm shaping and thinning here. I'm shaping the edge. This is slightly constricted above the notches, it looks like. On this style. Which gives me an opportunity to send some flakes in, but it's 
not I'm not doing very well. There we go. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Can't be too choosy with this particular material. You just get what you get. Yeah, I'll just leave it. That's good enough. Okay. So I'm using this book here. And it's... I'm trying to copy this one here. Now mine's more narrow. But I got the length okay. I think I got the notch depth okay. The width, they're more narrow on this one. And up here, the thickness, theirs is much thinner. So that's how they can get away with these very narrow notches. It's got nice, a nice pattern of flakes there. It does look kind of random, but not as random as some of these other ones down here. Okay. So there you go. It's not bad with the notching. It's not too bad. I didn't have... I didn't have any issues, actually. I could press real hard when I started to get inward without having to worry about that pop-out expanding because the flakes don't carry very far. That's one thing. Uh, if they don't carry very far then you don't have to worry too much about it blowing off an ear or a barb. The only thing is, you know, it'll bite into the edge a lot. Uh, so uh, I, I was a little afraid of starting it and biting too much off the edge, but it seemed like it was it started okay. Still rather thick in the middle. I can't develop a, a thick enough edge to send in the thinning flakes I need at this stage. So I'll just leave it. Okay.